What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome to Let's Play the Nonary Games Virtues Last Reward Blind. I've played through 999 before, blind as well, and really enjoyed that, so I've been excited to give this game a go, and I know many of you have as well. So, here we are, and it's awfully silent on this title screen. So let's go to the options here, get something going in the background. While I briefly say, wow, what an intro, um, it has me very excited to see what's going to be happening. I really like the character designs of the cast, so I'd like to get to know them. I think I recognize Clover, and unless, unless Junpei's been working out a lot, I think our protagonist is going to be quite a bit different this time around. Um, and was that maybe Alice? Right? I, I vaguely remember Alice from the end of 999, and it looked like she might be one of the characters here as well. But I'm, I mean, I guess we'll, we'll find out soon enough, right? This is a blind playthrough, so... That means I don't want any sort of expectations, any sort of advanced information about the plot, about a character, anything that happens. Really just stick to strictly what's already been, you know, very explicitly described in the gameplay up until this point. I really look forward to the puzzles, I really look forward to plot twists, I really look forward to character development, and any sort of advance on what's coming uh, can ruin those things for my for myself. And I know some people have different definitions of what spoilers are, etc. I'm just trying to enjoy the game how I do best, and I hope you guys enjoy watching me go through and struggle with the game at times too, and we get to experience the story together. I know some of you may not have played this game before, some of you are excitedly waiting me to get to every one of your favorite twists, and so I hope that we both can play the game in a way that um, allows us to enjoy it to the most. But anyways, that's been a lot of talking. I'm really looking forward to this. I hope you guys are too. Let's hop into it. The game is a work of fiction. All names, characters, and incidents portrayed in the product in this product are fictitious. Christmas 2028. Okay. What was all the crosses? Some sort of accident? Zero. Hmm. Sigma? We playing we playing Mega Man X? What? Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Darn it. Feels like my head's gonna explode. Wait. Would you like to play a game? Probably already made that joke in 999. Where the heck am I? So it looks like we're thrown right into an escape room right off the bat, which is fitting. Looks like an elevator, but... And that looks like the sort of rabbit thing we saw from the opening. Isn't that obvious? And there's some girl in here, too. Ah! Who the heck are you? Um, hello? Right. Okay. Let's try a different tack here. Where the heck are we? Also, while we're at it, why? No response. You always this friendly? Or did I kick you while I was sleeping? Wow, so Sigma's... Whoever we are right now is kind of an abrasive personality. The hair reminds me of, um, oh man, it's been a while since I played 999. I think it's, Sa yeah, Santa, uh, number three. Darn. No luck there either, huh? <laughs> I'm plenty friendly. What? I said I'm plenty friendly. Hey, looks like you can talk after all. So let's try this again. Also, um, just in general, I'm going to be sticking with the Japanese voices because I like listening to them. That's my preference. I hope you guys are okay with that at the very least or enjoy that as well. I also like to say what is in the text box on screen. It makes it more accessible to people that want to listen to videos while, I don't know, cleaning the house or tabbing over to something else. And yeah, it's something I enjoy doing too. It's more engaging for me. So. That's just kind of how it's going to be. <laughs> so, let's try this again. Where are we? Dunno. Also, we're finally getting into these new in-game graphics, the 3D models. They look nicer than I thought they did in the opening, which is nice. Hmm. Well, could be worse, I guess. You could have said, actually, we're stuck in a booby-trapped elevator in the bowels of a top-secret government facility where they conduct grotesque, grotesque human experiments. <laughs> That's pretty verbose. <laughs> right, back to the first question then. Who are you? 
By which I mean, what's your name? Maybe she doesn't know. Maybe you should, you know, chill and try to work together with this girl, whoever she may be, to figure out what's going on. Sigma. Sigma. Cute. That's my name. I'm asking you what... Wait a second. How do you know my name? I haven't met you before, have I? No, you haven't. I don't have any idea who you are. But... But what? How could you know my name if you don't have any idea who I am? Is her name also Sigma? How the heck am I supposed to know? I just know it, okay? Interesting, so something's up with her memory. Hey, no need to bite my head off. It's just, you're not really making sense here. And you still haven't told me who you are. Shut up! <laughs> just back off, Grandpa. G Grandpa, how old is our main character Sigma here? <laughs> Look, I just don't know, alright? Also, I'm really digging the soundtrack so far. It's just kind of there. Like, I looked at you. And some part of my brain just said, that's Sigma. Huh. Maybe that's some sort of indication that they're all being, I guess, like, brainwashed or having their memories wiped as they're participating in experiments repeatedly. And maybe a little bit of those memories are lingering for her? Hold on a second. What do you think this thing is? Huh? Ah, uh, of course. This bracelet. Also, of course she's the number three, like Santa from before. See? You've got one too. They're pretty much identical. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Where'd they come from? Oh, and so his also says three. And it says pair. So... So, in this Nonori game, are we going to have pairs of characters? With the same number? That's, that's an interesting mechanic. Where'd they come from? It was on already when I woke up. Haven't figured out what it's yet, or what it's for yet, though. Well, it doesn't seem like it's a watch, does it? No. Nah, it's just got a three in the word pair. Hmm. What are you doing? Trying to get it off. Good luck. I spent a while trying to get mine off while you were napping. It's on pretty tight. Doesn't even have a clasp or anything. So it's clearly not designed to be taken off, right guys? And obviously we played 999, we, we have some inkling of what these bracelets are used for. What about these buttons on the sides? I pressed them, but nothing happened. Not even a beep. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. Nothing. Darn it. What the heck is going on here? Somebody better start explaining, or... Or else what, Sigma? Are you gonna bang on the elevator door? <laughs> like... <laughs> hey, look. What? There's something on that screen over there. Wait, what? Okay. Oh, it's that, like, bunny thing. How are you feeling? What? I am Zero Three. Or Zero the Third. The kingdom of this... Or the king of this kingdom. Zero the Third? What happened to Zero the Second? I only remember one Zero from 999. What... What the heck is that? A rat? Uh, no. Pretty sure it's a rabbit. I'm sure you've got lots of questions. It just seems silly to have a big old chit-chat right now, so... I'm gonna give you a game to play! It is Jigsaw! <laughs> a game? Yes, 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 and I'm calling it. 
The Nonary Game! <laughs> it's kind of funny. I've played so many games like this where there's, you know, the mascot character that's running some sort of Hunger Games, some sort of death game trap, Danganronpa 999. I even played this game called Idle Death Game TV, which was a Japan exclusive game. It was, it was horrible. It was really bad. I only played it for a few hours and I wish I could have liked it more. The gameplay was just god awful. But anyways, Vlad Virtue's last reward to the list. <laughs> Ambidex Edition. There's more to it. Lots more. But if I told you now, that'd be cheating. So hurry up and get out. I'll be waiting. Uh, hey, hold on. Who the heck... Oh, right. I forgot to tell you the most important thing. <clears throat> this elevator you're in... <laughs> it's gonna fall in a few minutes. Way down. F fall? <laughs> yes, indeedy. So you'd better get moving. <laughs> I'll see you later. Okay, great. Have a nice trick. Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. Great news. Yeah, yeah. See you next fall. <laughs> that joke wasn't any funnier in elementary school. Oh, I get it. Trip and trick, huh? Don't tell me you're impressed. Oh, for the love of... <laughs> I can appreciate a good, bad joke. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. This is crap. <laughs> I guess this is a good time to say. I don't swear in on YouTube or in real life. And some people appreciate it. So they can listen to me without worry of whoever overhears. And so I will be somewhat softening the words that some characters will choose. Some people may not like that because it doesn't reflect the character as well. Just letting you know that's that's kind of how it's going to be. That stupid rabbit didn't tell us anything. How are we even supposed to get out of here? Nah, well. I guess wanting about it isn't going to help anybody. We won't be able to get any answers if we can't get out of here. You with me? Come on, just, just nod or something. <laughs> I don't want to die here any more than you. <laughs> that couldn't be a more reluctant... Sure, I'll work with you. Let's go. Oh, we in our first... Seek a way out. Alright, I'm on it. Ooh, this music. This is so... It's bringing everything back from 999. The game consists of two sections, the escape portion and the novel portion. The goal of the escape portion is to escape from whatever room you're in, hence the name. First click anything on the screen that catches your attention. You can change the camera angle by dragging the cursor across the screen. Okay. Oh, oh, interesting. This is so different compared to 999. All right, well, I think the game starts us here. So we'll start off by looking at this machine. When you see the word zoom in cyan in the top right corner of your screen, the game is in zoom mode. Very pertinent during the pandemic. <laughs> Everything's got a zoom mode now. <laughs> to return to your normal view from zoom mode, press escape key, drag downward, or click the cyan triangle at the bottom of the screen. Okay. So, what the heck is this stupid thing? It's huge. Is it an ATM? Hmm. Hmm, I see. And you think the safe down here is stuffed with cash? That would be nice. No, it wouldn't. We have bigger problems than money right now. <laughs> Like, I don't know, getting the heck out of here? Well, you don't have to yell about it. What's that? What are these slots over here? I think you can put things into these. There are three of them. I think they're probably for memory cards of some sort. Okay. Anything else of interest? There's a strange, mysterious device on the far side of the elevator. Okay. There's a strange, mysterious device. Yada, yada, yada. What about down there? All right, well, we'll back out of this for now. Can we zoom in on this? To exit zoom mode, just drag downward. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Um, if you need help with the controls, click the menu button at the bottom of the screen to make the menu bar appear, then click the arch or arc or archive button on the left end. Then click the yellow help tab to see a list of basic controls. Okay, so we've got ourselves a safe here. A square metal box. Looks like a safe. Yeah, I wonder what's inside. Something someone wants to keep safe. What else would you put in a safe? Well, what do you think it could be? A cracker? What the heck's so important about a cracker? <laughs> the dynamic between these two is already very funny. 
Okay. How about a tie deposit box? Uh, a what? What does that even mean? Let's just try and open it. How? Well, there's some kind of pad on the front with a 3x3 grid, right? I'm guessing that's how you open it. <laughs> she just continually points out the obvious. And then when asked about something, goes completely off the wall with stuff. Right. Let's give it a shot then. Each escape room has a safe somewhere. Okay. These safes have two passwords. One for escaping and one for a hidden file. When you open the safe using the escape password, you'll get a key that will allow you to leave the room you're in. If you open the safe with a hidden file password in hard mode, you'll get a gold file. If you do the same in easy mode, you'll get a silver file instead. The gold and silver files contain supplementary facts and background information that will give the novel sections added depth, but are not necessary for escaping. Are they exclusive facts? Like, will I have to do this on hard and easy to get all of the facts and files? That kind of that would kind of kill the collector in me. <laughs> in order to escape and continue the game, you must open the safe with the escape password. Gotcha. All right. Well, we don't really have anything at the moment. Oh. So it's a variety of symbols. Interesting. Darn. No luck. Well, of course not. You're not going to get far just guessing. We need to find a clue. Yeah. No kidding. But now we actually have an idea, it's not just numbers, right? It's these sorts of symbols. Fire extinguisher, directions, so we pull a key out, and then... Huh? This doesn't look like directions to operate a fire extinguisher. <laughs> I think it shows that we can pull a key out of the fire extinguisher itself and use that key somewhere else. Which is interesting. Can we open this? This looks like a case for a fire extinguisher. Let me see if I can open it. <clears throat> Darn. No good. Is it locked? Looks that way. Yeah. Interesting. I'm going to have to get my, my voice ready to do another visual novel. I haven't recorded a visual novel in a while, so this straight on my voice is a little bit more than usual. Which is okay. Don't get me wrong. I've recorded plenty of visual novel on the channel. But anyways, here is our fire extinguisher. I obviously see this little ring up here. I hope, I don't know if you guys can see my cursor or not. I'll find out soon after this episode, but a fire extinguisher, what's something like this doing an elevator? Isn't that obvious? It's here in case there's a fire. <laughs> Whoa, you're saying that there's some sort of thing in here that'll start a fire? It's not out of the question. Come on, don't do that. I won't be able to do anything if I think there's something in here that'll set us on fire. Really? You wouldn't be able to do anything just out of fear of, I don't know, like, like what would you expect? Like a trap that's like, oh, you open this door, now the whole elevator's on fire. Anyways, let's take a look at this. Fire extinguisher pin, which is obviously a key. We can rotate it and we can examine as well. That's the fire extinguisher pin. You'll find two types of items in the game. Hints in item form and items you can use in some way. In order to use an item, click whatever you want to use it on while holding the item. Whatever item is in the front on the item screen is the item you are currently holding. A picture of it will also appear in the item icon when you're holding it. Okay, that's pretty helpful. So that's up in the top left. The screen that's just appeared is called the item screen. While on the item screen, you can expect items you found and combine or hold them. To access the item screen during an escape, click the item icon which you can find in the top left corner of the screen. The item icon will show whatever item you are currently holding. Also, yeah, I guess it's worth noting, if it wasn't already apparent, um, I'm playing the Steam release of this game. Even though I think it came out on the 3DS and the, the Vita, even. Alright, so what, what do we want to look at first? We have these... Huh, we have like an old man, a bunch of numbers, those two handles, and then a baby with those two handles. What's going on up here? What do you think this means? Heck if I know. It's just a bunch of pictures of babies and old people. Why don't you see if you can get it off the wall? Some things you come across and collect won't be stored with the rest of your items. Instead, they'll be put in a file. To look at and review them, just click the Archive button in the menu and then click Navigate to the tab called File. That seems tedious, <laughs> to be honest, but... Okay. So try counting the number of babies and old people. Life would be infinitely happier if we could only be born at the age of 80 and gradually approach 18. Huh. It's an interesting thought. But, um... Anyways, number of babies and old people, right? So how many old people do I see? I see 1, 2, 
three, four, five, six, seven old people. How many babies do I see? One, two, three, four. So four babies and seven old people. Can I... Ooh, I'm in a memo? What is this? Oh, I can write! This is actually really interesting because, um... This might be the first time, and probably is the first time, many of you will see a semblance, some semblance of my handwriting. Cool! So four babies, seven old people. So now that we've done that, we can probably go over to these and... How many was it? It was seven old people? Huh? Why'd it light up? It didn't do anything earlier. What? Did, did we try to do anything earlier? Maybe that was because the game hadn't started yet. So you think this button does something? Dunno. Let's take another look at it. So... An old man... Hey, Sigma. Do you remember seeing a couple of dried up old farts in here somewhere? What? <laughs> That's not very polite. You should just call them old men or old women or something. Whatever. Do you remember anything? Yeah, that poster. During an escape, you are given the opportunity to switch difficulty levels. If you get stuck, you can switch the difficulty level easy by opening the menu and clicking the difficulty button. That's a nice option to have. In easy mode, the other characters will give you more hints. However, once you've switched the difficulty easy, you can't switch it back to hard until you finish that escape. When you start over in a particular escape or enter it for the first time, the difficulty level is automatically set to hard. Lovely. I will, to the best of my ability, try to do these on hard because I enjoy the challenge of a puzzle and am somewhat prideful. <laughs> it's a baby. Hey, have you seen a baby in here? Goo goo. Sorry, another baby. <laughs> Stop screwing around and think. Don't you remember seeing some babies? Hmm. Yeah, so there were four babies, I believe. So... Four babies and seven old people. Oh. I see the four colors on that ventilation shaft and the handles here. Can I do something with this? So why are these colored like this? Oh. Hey, this end is loose. Can you take it off? Let's see. I can! Handle green. Lovely. Probably the handle for some kind of tool. The grip is green. Okay. So, well, I guess we'll grab this one as well. Not really compelled to examine that one. I have a pretty good idea of what the description is going to tell me. <laughs> I will say also, I, I try to use my touchpad when I can on my laptop to reduce clicking noise, but sometimes, just when I'm moving around a room, dragging, etc., I'll probably switch to my mouse just for the sake of comfort. So, I guess this is probably a good time to check what the key does for this. Probably the handle for some kind of tool, the group is green. Oh, this is how I access the dialogue. I was thinking I could scroll through items, but that does not seem to be the case. Okay. Alright, let's see if this pin can open the lock. Hmm. Looks like it worked. Excellent. Alright, time to see what's inside. Huh. What's this? Polyurethane packaging? There are a few pieces of metal in here. Four of them, they look like sockets for socket wrenches. Each one has a different shape, though. Yeah. Well, we might as well take them. Oh, so these are the different tips for the various tools. I, will I... Will I have to combine them? For example, what if I do this? Okay. Alright. Oh, so we're getting a bunch of different tips. Square, pentagonal, and hexagonal. Okay. So we've got all of those. Lovely. Now, we can, oh, we can look up, maybe, maybe not, can I look up, okay, maybe, maybe not, I guess, <laughs> that's all right, I have I looked over in this area, no, okay, I guess we'll head down to this vent and see what we can do, so it looks like yellow is going to be the triangular tip, and hexagonal is going to be red, so we'll combine that with the red handle, lovely, and the green handle we are going to combine with the pentagonal tip. And let's see, what's the next one we get? The yellow handle with the triangle tip. And then last but certainly not least, the blue handle with the square tip. Lovely. 
So we'll do that there. Hmm. Looks like he got it off. Lovely. All right, we'll select the next wrench or whatever to use. All right, let's just give this yellow one a twist. Okay. Unsurprisingly, worked pretty well. Now it's Green's turn. All right, that's the green bolt off. Yeah, good job. You're a regular mechanic. I don't know about that. That's a bit of a an insult to mechanics. <laughs> Excellent. That's the red bolt gone. Okay, let's open up the vent. Right, so I've got all the bolts off now. Ready? Now I'm gonna open it. What are you asking me for? Okay, okay, jeez. Huh? What is this? There are a number of mini games you will play during an escape. Controls and rules will generally be given to you before a mini game begins, but some start without giving you detailed instructions. Interesting, I wonder what types of mini games those will be. If you can't solve a minigame, just quit by clicking the back button in the bottom right corner of the minigame screen. If you keep trying, though, the other characters might start to give you hints. They'll only do this when you're playing in easy mode, though. So remember, if you get stuck on a minigame, give it several tries before you switch the difficulty to easy. What's this? It looks like some kind of maze. Do you think we're supposed to solve this? Probably. <laughs> Alright. I'm on it. You need to move the green block from the top left to the blue square on the bottom right. You can move the green and red blocks up and down as well as sideways by clicking and dragging the mouse or using the arrow keys. Okay, do they all work in one manner? They do. Gotcha. Um, so let's do this then. Kind of slot that, that pink one in there so we can progress the, the green one down. Now I think what we're gonna wanna do is actually do something similar where we try to slot those pink ones into that uh, three or two space wide horizontal fissure, I guess. What I can do is I can do that and then go up like this. Now I can actually move to the left, go up, slot right. That's going to be fine. I can not do that. <laughs> We're pretty close though. Now I can go to the left again and then go up and that is still almost helpful. Now, now what? I do this, and then go over like that, and then we're good. That was actually a couple extra moves there at the end. I was just <laughs> hyper fixated on getting those pink blocks in the slot. I didn't realize that I'd already effectively moved the, the green one to the bottom row, but nice, sweet. I did it. You're pretty good. Hmm. This is kid stuff. I could do it with my eyes closed. Oh, look at this. Hmm? Something came out of the box. I do tend to like pu like sliding puzzles. Those of you that have watched my Professor Layton and the Curious Village playthrough have probably have a good idea of exactly what types of puzzles I enjoy and those that I don't really enjoy. Uh, this is definitely one that I like more. Oh, yeah. Is this a memory card? Oh, so we got a green memory card. Great. A green memory card, huh? Yeah. Now I got it from the maze. Okay, appreciate the reminder. Is that all there is to that? Okay. Um, can we do something here? This is some kind of mouse icon. It's a rabbit. How many times do I have to tell you? How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> Wouldn't be a Midnight Zero Let's Play without a SpongeBob reference. You think there might be some kind of connection with that Zero Three guy we saw? Yeah, I bet. Is there something in here? What's the deal with this slit? You mean slot, right? They're the same thing. What does it matter what we call it? It's a hole to put cards into. <laughs> we don't know if things go into it. Hmm? Yeah, I guess theoretically something could come out. There's a flat opening in a control panel. Yeah, maybe something comes out of it. Can we look at the monitor? Some kind of display. There's nothing on it right now. Oh, but what's this here? This is a keyhole, yes. And there's a little panel with a keyhole. The opening in the center is covered with transparent plastic and you can see the big red button behind it. <laughs> Which is, as always, uh, very tempting. So I guess, I'm really curious to see if there's anything in the, uh, hmm, on the ceiling. Doesn't seem so. Oh, is there something on the floor as well that I should be looking at? 
Doesn't seem so, but I mean, I guess we can put in the, the green memory card. I've got a green memory card in my hand. Let's see what happens when I put it in. I don't really see too many areas to uh, further the puzzle than this, so. Hey, it turned on. It looks like this thing is working now. Okay, is it showing anything? The screen is glowing with a strange light. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't find that exceptionally helpful. Oh, so there's a sort of wheel up there. Probably an escape of some sort. I wonder if I can just force it open. Darn, no good. Stupid thing won't even budge. Trying to force it is pointless. We need to find another way out. Hmm. I'm tempted to think that it's one of these buttons. Hey, Sigma. Did you just hear a noise? What noise? Um, I think it was over here somewhere. Huh? Why did why did just randomly hitting the zero button spit out a blue memory card? Odd. So here's another tutorial on, you know, items, but It's kind of odd that just we randomly hit zero and something came out. Should we just go through and cycle these? Huh. It seems a little bit too aimless for the design of these puzzles, typically. So I'm a bit surprised, but maybe there, maybe there's also something I'm missing. I guess, in fact, this bunny's name is 03, right? And it's specifically the 0 and 3 buttons that gave us the memory card, so maybe that's actually the, the hint, and it does, it's not as aimless as I initially thought. There it is again. It's right here. Okay, so we'll take that. And with that, I think we should be good, right? There are only three memory card slots. So we'll go with the red one. I've got a red memory card in my hand. Let's see what happens when I put it in. Okay, turns blue. So naturally, when we put the blue in, red, green, and blue, I think those are like the primary colors of light, right? Haven't thought about that in a long time, but... Okay. So now it's, it's green. Why is this relevant? Oh, I can actually look at the screen now. What the heck is this? Maybe it's some kind of password. A password? You got a notepad or something? Huh? Oh, uh, no, not really. Then you'll just have to remember this. Think you can handle that? Yeah, of course. I'm always remembering stuff. <laughs> you found an escape password. Oh, that is really nice. I very much appreciate that they tell me it's an escape password, not the sort of hidden file password. To view it, visit the archive and navigate to the blue pass tab. Okay. What about in the blue? So this is the one with like moon, sun, moon, right? Huh? This isn't what it showed us last time. Hmm, a different password. Found a hidden file password. Great, okay. So we'll do the hidden file password then. Yep, yep, we already got this game. Thank you though. So this was moon, this was sun, and then this was moon as well, right? Lovely. So we should have earned ourselves a hidden file. Ha! That's it! You did it! Good job. <laughs> Piece of cake. To see what's inside, visit the archive and navigate to the red secret tab. The gold file contains supplementary facts and background information that will give the novel sections out of depth but are not necessary for escaping. In order to escape and continue the game, yada yada yada. So I wonder when, I guess I will occasionally ask questions about things that I'm, you know, wondering for how to best, you know, optimally play the game, get the experience I'm looking for. And one thing I'm wondering is when is a good time to look at the gold files? Is, is it something that I should be doing immediately after each escape room? Is it something I should be doing the moment I get them? Or is there some time later on in the game that it's really best to look through all of them? And um, I guess I'm not, I'm not really sure. So if you guys do have suggestions for that, please do let me know. So we'll... Yes, we have an escape password that we need to use. I believe it should be in our archive, right? They said pass, so safe elevator. It was gonna be, this is actually really nice that they have this accessible like this. So two suns in the corner and then a moon. So we'll do that. Great. Huh? That's odd, it opened with this password too. Hmm, maybe it has two types of passwords. Look, it has different stuff in it now. Yeah, you're right. It's got a false back. See, it can just flip around. Kind of like those hidden passages in mansions and stuff. That's exactly what I was thinking of. So if you put in a different password, you get different stuff. 
I think so. <laughs> that's quite the explanation for somebody who's not 100% confident in it. Right, well, that's enough of that. Grab the stuff. Yeah, yeah, let's just get out of here. Is this a key? Key found in safe. It's a pretty interesting looking key. But yeah, I think I know where this one goes. So let's head on back to that area where there was the big red button that was oh so tempting, but it was hidden behind this lock. You ready? I'm gonna put the key in. You don't need to ask me every time you're going to do something, but girl, you don't understand. He's afraid he's gonna start a fire. <laughs> Just hurry it up. Right, right, I know. Here goes. Stop talking and do it. Yes, it unlocked. Hmm. So now we just have to open this panel. And there's the big red button. I mean, I guess, I guess we'll give it a go, guys. Once you leave this elevator, the novel section of the game will begin. For more information on the controls for the novel section, have a look at the help section in the archive. Are you ready? I'm ready. Just do it. All right, all right. Message received. Here we go. Three. <laughs> it's like... All right, message received. Here we go. Are you sure you want me to do it? Okay, I'll count down. Three, two, you really sure? Just gonna throw like every bit of pause you possibly can before hitting the button. Three, two, one, and push. Let's see what happens. Ooh, looks like I need to give V-Sync a look. Oh. It opened a hatch in the ceiling? What? Why does an elevator have a ceiling hatch? Well, for people that are trying to escape before it plummets downward, I guess. You guys, even though you have an escape route, that doesn't mean the plan to drop the elevator has ended, right? I would get out of there as fast as possible. You found it! Go us. Alright, it's open. Now let's get the heck out of here. What? What's wrong? Oh yeah. Guess it's a little high for you, huh? I'd say that's at least six feet, maybe more. Alright then, climb up on my shoulders. Your shoulders? Also, I just heard the word for, like, climbing on somebody's shoulders. Kata guruma? It's like... It's like shoulder car. That's really funny. Yeah, that's right. Why, something wrong? What? What's that look supposed to mean? What do you think I'm gonna do? Oh, come on. Now, now she completely stops talking again. Just trying to be rational here. No ulterior motive. Hand to God. Not like I'm hoping to get my face sandwiched between a girl's bare thighs or... Dude, dude, you just gotta... You gotta stop talking, like, right now. I knew it! <laughs> you sick baka! I was just kidding! Right, look, I'm just trying to get us out of here. You got any brilliant ideas that don't involve your thighs? <laughs> Fine. On your knees. What? You're a little tall for me to just jump on your shoulders. I'm certainly not going to give you the satisfaction of ma making me climb. So, kneel. Oh, uh, okay. There. Ready? Bring it on. <laughs> Thanks. A little step up is just what I needed. What? Wait, what are you going to do? <laughs> Quiet. Here we go. Oh my goodness, is she going to use him as a stepping stool? That's hilarious. Oh, look at that jump animation. She can fly? How in the heck? That also definitely looked a lot higher than six feet then. Alright, give me your hand. Also, yeah, now that I think about it, if the ceiling was like... I, I'm over six feet tall. If the ceiling was just over six feet tall, that would hardly require... I mean... A jump, let alone just like standing on your tiptoes. Alright, give me your hand. What? Oh, uh... What the heck are you? Well, I'm not Superman, that's for sure. 
I'm not Batman or Spider-Man or Aquaman or a Merman or a Wolfman. I'm not a Brahman or Kamen or Raman, not a Cayman either, so you don't really need to worry about anything. My name is Fi. I guess you could say, I am no man. Just come on. What? One of these days, Witch King. Interesting. Huh, so a new environment to explore. Whoa, what's up with this place? It sure doesn't look like an elevator shaft. Some kind of warehouse, maybe? Or a hangar? So we were an elevator that doesn't elevate? Yeah, it wasn't going to go anywhere. Interesting. When that rabbit said it was going to fall, he was just screwing with us? So it would seem. Then why... Forget it. Look. More people. Looks like an old guy, a young man. Two girls and... A kid? They're all wearing bracelets. Probably safe to assume they're all trapped here too. Right, well, let's go say hi then. However, of course, we are going to say hi in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was really fun. I like that in 999 as well. They kind of jump you or throw you right into a puzzle. You know, first thing. you The first experience you have with the game is an escape room. And overall, I think that first one was a good introduction to some of the mechanics of what the gameplay is going to be like going forward. A little bit of an introduction to the dynamic between what are presumably going to be some of our main characters, this girl, Phi, and this guy, Sigma. Which I just realized now they all have this, uh, they both have this Greek letter thing going on. I generally would say Phi in math classes and stuff, but I'll go with Phi for now. I'm really intrigued to see, first of all, why they're named Phi and Sigma, but then also what's going on with Phi? Supernatural abilities? Weird memories? Seems pretty, pretty suspicious for the time being. What's going on with this rabbit? Why 03? What happened to 02? Well, well, I guess. Those of you who are also watch anime know exactly what happens to Zero Two, but I guess what's happened in the interim? Is this the same universe? Whatever it may be, I've got a lot of questions, and I'm looking forward to getting those answers and solving puzzles to get to them. I hope you guys enjoyed it and are looking forward to whatever the story holds in the future. So, until the next episode, this has been Midnight Zero, and this mission is complete.